We have a small creek on our property at home. Perhaps we can use that to generate electric power. We'll need to estimate the flow rate of the river and the available head, which is the height difference between the creek as it enters the property and as it leaves the property. The flow rate of larger streams are usually measured by measuring the depth of water flowing over a specially shaped weir. But in small streams like this, it is sufficient to estimate the flow rate from the cross-sectional area and the average velocity of the water. The first thing to do is to measure the width of the stream. which is 800 millimetres. And then measure the depth at a few places. To get an idea of the shape of the riverbed. At its deepest, it's 200 millimetres. I can approximate the cross-section of the creek as a triangle, in which case its cross-sectional area is a half its width times its depth. Its width is 0.8 of a metre. Its depth is 0.2 of a metre. So its cross-section is a half times 0.8 times 0.2 square metres or 0.08 square metres. The velocity of the stream can be measured by dropping leaves into the stream and seeing how long they take to travel one metre. In this way I've estimated the velocity of the stream as a half a metre a second. The flow rate can be calculated by multiplying the cross-sectional area times the average velocity. And the average velocity is less than what I've measured in the centre of the stream. We multiply by a factor of 0.8 to compensate for this. So the flow rate is the cross-sectional area times the velocity measured in the centre of the stream times 0.8, which is a cross-sectional area of 0.08 square metres times a velocity of 0.5 metres per second times 0.8, which is 0.032 cubic metres per second or 32 litres per second. We now need to estimate the head, which is the height difference between where the creek enters the property and where the creek leaves the property. One way of doing this is to survey the creek with a dumpy level. When you look through a dumpy level you see two images, a normal image and an inverted image. And where those two line up is at the same height as the dumpy level. In this case, we are at the same level as a little bit below the bumper bar of that car. Surveying the creek with the level indicates that it drops 1.5 metres. Alternatively, we can use a contour map. The creek crosses one contour just before it comes under the side fence, crosses another contour inside the property, and crosses a third contour line just after it leaves the property. So it drops a total of two metres from just outside one boundary to just outside the other, which is consistent with a 1.5 metre drop across the property. We now have the flow and the head 
and can calculate the power in the stream. The flow is 32 litres per second. The head is 1.5 metres and G is 9.8. So the power is the flow 32 litres per second times the head 1.5 metres times G 9.8 which comes to 470 watts. The actual power we can get from the generator will be less from this. There will be head losses in the pipe, losses in the turbine and generator, and the flow in the creek will vary through the year. We can expect 10% head loss in the pipe, turbine and generator efficiency of 60%, and the flow to vary down to 25% of the flow we've measured. So the power generated will be 470 watts times 0.9 times 0.6 times 0.25 equals 64 watts. We can now design the pipeline We've decided on a head loss of 10%. The total head is 1.5 metres, and 10% of that is 15 centimetres. The pipe length is 100 metres, but we will allow another 10 metres equivalent length for fittings, giving a total effective length of 110 metres. So we're looking for a diameter of pipe which will give a head loss of 15 centimetres over 110 metres of pipe at a flow rate of 8 litres per second. This is a chart which shows head losses for various diameters of PVC pipe. The head loss per 1000 metres is shown on the vertical axis and the flow rate in litres per second is shown on the horizontal axis. The head loss is 1.4 metres in a thousand metres. And the flow rate is 8 litres per second. Read the pipe diameter at the intersection of these two lines. And they intersect on the diagonal line, which is for a 150 millimetre pipe. Another consideration in the design of the system is that a small babbling brook can turn into a raging torrent after heavy rains. This video has looked at hydroelectric schemes ranging from 10 megawatts to 50 watts. They are all governed by the same equation, power equals flow times head times G.